There we go. Okay, so Arnie, we're gonna we're I'm gonna combine a, a little practice session with actually doing hush little baby. So we're going back and forth between two chords with our left hand, an F and a C7. Right hand is going to be doing the finger picking technique. And this is one measure, one, two, three, four. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two measures of F, two measures of C7, and we're going to go back and forth doing that. So now we're adding another level of music to your practice. We have the right hand doing this, but now we're adding the left hand as well. So this isn't the song yet. This is just a practice. So let me count us down, starting on F. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, again, one, two, and now C7, one, two, three, four, one, two, and now back to F, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and C7, see back and forth, two measures each, F, C7. Let's do it a couple more times. F. C7. And then I'm going to end with our thumb strum. Like that. So, so we threw in that the very, very first technique that I wanted to show you using a thumb because the sound is different. It's flesh and this is fingernails. There's a little bit more crispy to it. So now let's apply it. Let's get pragmatic and we're going to apply it to a hush little baby. And I'm looking at the music. I'm going to put it right in front of me here um, and we'll, we'll, why don't we go through it twice? I'm going to do it very slowly and I'll sing it for you. But when you're practicing, darling, um, um, you know, at first just, just hum or grunt along. So, so you can kind of stay aligned with the way of the melody of the song is going. So let me count us down finger picking position. I've got it right there. A one, two, three, four, Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Let's do it again. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Now I'm gonna add one more thing to this. Um, don't try it until you're comfortable doing what we just did. I'm going to, instead of counting one, two, three, four, I'm going to count one, and two and three and four, which means I'm going to be doing twice as much in a measure. What does that mean? That means I'm going to be going from my nose to my foot twice. We just did it once. Let me show you. Hush, little baby. And that's what I want you to work on at first. 
when you're comfortable doing that, not until you're comfortable, we're going to count it one and two and three and four and hush, little baby. You see, I just went from my nose to my feet twice in the same amount of space where we were doing it once. So it adds energy to an arrangement. Now, let's just try something. Let's play one measure of F, one, two, three, four, and then let's count it one and two and three and four and. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. I think uh, instead of adding that to a uh, hush little baby, it would just be a good practice for you right now to just go back and forth like that. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. Now let's make a C7 chord. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and F. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one. There you go.